And here's what's happening at 10 o'clock. I'm Jeff Gianola. And I'm Elizabeth Din. Tonight, we begin with an update on that breaking news we brought you earlier tonight. As we now know, a man was killed in a shooting in Gresham. Our Joelle Jones spoke with people nearby the scene tonight. He's live for us right now. I know you spoke to folks in the neighborhood. What are they telling you, Joelle? Well, Jeff, Liz, Gresham Police confirmed this is now a homicide investigation, and those in the area say they heard several shots ring out from the Crystal Creek condominiums, some even capturing cell phone video of a man surrendering to police. Take a look. Thought something bad happens. That somebody just got shot, and somebody's probably deceased in that apartment upstairs. Another deadly shooting in Gresham. As police say, a man was shot and killed off Southeast 162nd Avenue this afternoon. Those working and living in the area tell us they heard shots ring out from the upper floor of the Crystal Creek condominiums. We heard five or six gunshots, and then a man run from the third floor down, and then he was hanging out down here yelling, hurry up, let's go to somebody upstairs. And then the cops came. Stephen Young's works just across the street from where the shooting took place and says he saw one man run out before police could arrive at the apartments and watched another man later surrender. Gresham police tell Coyne one man died from a gunshot wound. When I got here, there was about 10 or 12 cops at the bottom of the stairs with their guns looking up at the door for probably 10 minutes. And finally the door opened and a white guy came out with no shirt, no shoes, came down the stairs with his hands up and at the bottom of the stairs they handcuffed him and took him away. Chris Jenkins lives with his children in the area and says he was heading home when he captured this cell phone video of a man walking down the steps to police, hands raised. We're blurring his face as he has not yet been identified by police. And as we're told, the East County Major Crimes Team is now investigating this as a homicide. Locals say, sadly, deadly shootings have become common in this area. Another day in the life at 162. There was just one on down there the other day, one at the max recently. Like, it's a normal thing for this area. By my house, there's two murders just within a week. It's sad to see in this part of town. And with neighbors telling us they saw two men leave the condos, we did reach out to Gresham Police to ask about any potential suspects or arrests, but have not yet heard back. But of course, we will continue to follow this and bring you any updates both on air and online as the story develops. But for now, live in Gresham, I'm Joelle Jones, Queen 6 News. All right, Joelle, thank you. Also new tonight, a person injured.